live from Brooklyn. It's Monday night. <laughs> Get a little bit out of sorts tonight and everything goes bonkers. First off, from Columbus, Ohio, we have Mr. Donald Culp. Hello, everybody. And from Manhattan, we have Franco Botley. Hello, hello, hello. Introduce yourself, Franco. Let them know a little bit about you. They know us. I am the uh, CEO of the Living Truth Fellowship. I do all the day-to-day -day, uh, management of the ministry, and I, uh, I've been doing it for the last seven years. I just moved to New York City three years ago from Orlando, Florida, where it was too hot and too sunny. Mm -hmm. Now I'm up here in New York enjoying the weather. <laughs> 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 and from Nashville, we have Mr. John Tudor. Say hello, John. Hello there. Hello from Music City, USA. <laughs> and just down the road a little piece from Nashville, we have Mike and Dana Lewis in Houston, Texas. Say hello, Dana. And Mike. <laughs> and then we'll come back to Brooklyn, where we have a serious lack of grain elevators. That may be due to the fact that we don't grow grain here. Something to consider. But I'm sitting here in Brooklyn, dodging bullets and sitting at red lights and getting in, all involved in the city stuff that goes on around here. Uh, Don Culp, you want to, or Franco, open us up with a word of prayer. All right, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this night. Thank you for all these beautiful people that have joined us tonight. Thank you as we celebrate the life of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and God, all that he has done for us. We thank you for his accomplishments, his goodness, and his love. We thank you for the power we have in him, and we thank you, Father, for the truth that we've been so privileged to know. We thank you for our hearts to share it with others. Thank you, God, for working mightily within us, God so that we can just minister your grace and love unto others and they can see just what a great, big, wonderful God you are. We thank you for this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna switch over to Dana Lewis. And Dana, introduce yourself and say hello to the people and take it away. Hi, my name is Dana Lewis. I'm from LaPorte, Texas. I'm an elder with the Living Truth Fellowship and having a blast growing and loving and learning with fellow members of the one body. And today is the day the Lord hath made and we shall be glad and rejoice in it. So right now, we're all gonna be rejoicing in this time together, sharing hearts, having fun and growing. Can you imagine what it's going to be like to be with God and Christ forever? To walk in a garden with God? To see Jesus Christ face to face? To get a new body? Live in a place where there's no more sickness, disease, tears, hurt, and it's all going to be wiped away? And you're going to receive rewards for the goodness that you've done here on earth that were pleasing to God, that you did in Christ. To see the loved ones that have died. Can you imagine? Just take a moment and think about that. Getting to talk with King David or Lazarus. What about Mary or Martha? What about your husband, your wife, your kids? your grandkids, your grandchildren, to live forever with them, with God, with Christ, to be at his feet, to play with his hair, to do whatever it is that you imagine. I want to be sitting there washing Jesus Christ's feet, doing whatever it is um, that I can think of and more. I mean, can you imagine that? I mean, what a day. To be born again, to 
for have God to have chosen you to adopt you when you're adopted that's his choice you're special you're wonderfully made God listens to you when you talk to him pray a bunch pray day pray night pray when you're in the shower I mean that's kind of my quiet time what about yours <laughs> uh, you know you're more than a conqueror he has made you to help to heal the brokenhearted to be able to pray for people uh, to have a god that entrusts you with that i mean wow can you imagine can you imagine getting up one morning getting on a busy freeway with 18 wheelers just going everywhere and this new song comes on the radio i can only imagine and you're listening to it with such intent that it's just burning in your soul and within three verses you're off the freeway crying your eyes out <laughs> because the hope is so big and so live and you're just sitting there and you're praying for everybody you can think of and you're praising god and you're just getting blown away with the thought oh my gosh christ died for me and knows you and knows everything about you every hair you have on your head everyone you lose a personal god who takes the time to have patience for you to believe for you to love and to give and to know him. Can you imagine all that? And then you're sitting there after you're praying and God gives you this vision of dancing before him in a beautiful white dress with other ladies and that everything is just so graceful and it's like you're in front of his throne what a day of hope of rejoicing can you imagine that the growth in your heart the hope so alive that you're overflowing with thankfulness and praise and that you have a lord you have a savior who walked this earth and lived and and showed god's goodness his mercy his giving he walked around healing people healing the blind making water into wine can you imagine wow well now there's an, a, a song out the song has been made into a movie i can only imagine and my youngest daughter calls and she says we all gotta go see it that's mom's favorite song and the joy that I had in my soul that she knew that and wanted us all to be together for my special moment. And as I'm watching this film, I'm thinking, wow, just wow. How much we can re all relate where God has taken us and where we came from and what you are now. <coughs> So we thank Jesus Christ for his accomplishments and for the sacrifice and for the hurt and for the pain so that we can be here right now, loving each other, getting excited about growing together in Christ, giving Christ all the praise because it's him. It's not me. If you knew me, well, forget that part. <laughs> I'm a new person now. So are you and thank god for that that we can grow and we can love well so did this movie this song did it change my life well yeah it did because i saw the hope even bigger and brighter than i had before so with this song and with this movie is things we can relate to and be so thankful for the new birth can you imagine that you're born again 
all those old things, all that sin, it's gone. You ask for forgiveness and God forgave you right away. And he doesn't even remember it anymore. So you have a new chance every day to wake up, to share your heart, to love bigger, to give better, because God loves a cheerful giver. <laughs> and then this is composer of this song. He writes this song in 10 minutes. And the songwriter that is with him, that it, it you know, that sings, she's famous. And she says, no, that took you a whole lifetime. So what is your story? Is your story about how you serve God and how you serve Christ? And you woke up one morning and your first thought is, what can I do for you today? How can I serve your people? How can I feed your flock? That's going to be a great day. And we have those days, we have those moments. And we're equipped and strong and able to do this all. <laughs> to make your life better and bigger and have a God who corrects you and loves you. And he says, don't be ignorant. Here it is. It's all right here. I've written in, in it. I've had holy man write it just for you. See this? It's all right here. Everything concerning your life, your friend's life. It's life. Living words to heal and help your soul. You know, everybody has those times when people are sick or they're hurting and you want to hurt. I mean, you want to take away their pain and you can't. But you do have the ability when you're born again to speak in tongues, to prophesy, to do greater works because of the Christ in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Well, why is it the hope of glory? Because what did Jesus Christ do? Didn't he give God all the credit? Didn't he try to live his life every day doing his will? And he even exposed the devil because God was getting the bad rap for a lot of things. So he let people know where the evil was coming from and how to stay away from it and how to be warned not to do such things. But most of all, because he loves you. That's our father. That's our Lord Jesus Christ who accomplished it all and did it all for you and I. So, can you imagine? Can you imagine your name is written in the book of life? Your name. And everything it is that you've done here on earth for Christ is all going to be in there. I bet your story's long. So, with one thought and in one moment, all things can become new. Jesus Christ said, love one another as I have loved you. And if you guys don't mind, I'd like to give you a little bit of insight. Not about the movie, because I don't believe in spoilers. But us, we're open. Because we want you to live and learn all about Jesus Christ, okay? So we have a lot to offer. And I'm gonna start with my brother, Franco, who is a designer, who designs web axes for us and does all kinds of amazing things to make it really easy for you to punch a button or click something, because I'm no geek. <laughs> To be able to get, to reach out, to touch people, what's available. And on Monday nights with Don Chamberlain, we do this awesome hangout and someone is picked 
are volunteers to teach and afterwards we sure heard us about the teaching we asked about who got the cat out of the tree how chris is doing with our help uh we just have a blast it, it's a great time of prayer and acting totally goofy and if you want to join us just ask we'll send out a special notice for you and uh would love to have your company then on tuesdays there's mike lewis and you want to get deep and dirty in the word learn some greek learn some hebrew um it's it's going to be there and he's going to give you principles to to be able to read your bible better to understand the culture of what was going on and of course for love and daily living then we have wednesday now wednesday every wednesday's full okay just like mondays and tuesdays but our wednesdays are a little different because we like to share we're a given group and we start out the month with john lynn teaching this is a man who has taught for over 50 years traveled around the world given his heart uh, to any and everybody has done tapes teachings oh my goodness he's like off the chart guys uh he's got a great sense of humor he has dedicated his life for this along with his lovely wife elizabeth who he adores and you will hear a lot about her and basketball <laughs> john is um very dear to all of us he is the one who started this and because we saw his his life examples how he kept on pushing even when he got kicked down he just kept on coming back it's like well shoot i can do that too so uh encourage you to tune in on wednesdays and if it's not that wednesday then there's going to be another wednesday with mark dickey he teaches um take heed he is my warrior brother uh <laughs> he will talk to anybody he won't talk back and he might just keep on going from there he's dynamite you're gonna love his accent recently him and his wife even got a little camper trailer where they just travel around and go wherever the lord directs them um just totally his heart and his desire is just like non-stop he's a ball of fire and then we have a wednesday night where it's called god's goodness and it's all about you sharing your heart we've all seen miracles you gotta share it you gotta encourage other people enlighten them do your thing okay be you and just oh my gosh it, it'll blow you away of how god works in your brothers and your sisters lives to make yours better just by listening to them your heart will melt um what is don chamberlain teaches again on thursday nights anybody who needs help he will uh help you learn how to read your bible better prophesy um because we need to do that openly and so there's nothing that don won't help you with or he will find someone who can <laughs> he's he's a ball of fire and uh always there for anybody in any way then sunday mornings when most people hopefully within the christian community are at church well you know what so are we but our church is every day it's right now it's right here it's whenever we're gathered together it's when we're in the grocery store because we're part of this special body of christ and it doesn't leave us it's built into us we look and pray for opportunities to share and to give and john touchstone and his family do it um an amazing beautiful job with this as a family john definitely will teach you about leadership about how to take care of a flock by his lifestyle uh <clears throat> when he's teaching he might correct one of his kids at a time because as even as our loving heavenly father is 
So is John with his kids. And he knows that raising his kids in the word is a full-time 24-hour job. <laughs> and he will correct them or encourage them or build them up during his teachings. And uh, I love it because John's John. And he's, he's there for you. He will travel to pray for you. Um, just whatever it takes. Um, right now, I'm kind of at the loss of words for all these beautiful people because they have touched my life and my heart, and I know they will yours. So if there's anything that you need, please click on tltf.org and have a blast. And I can't wait to see you and have you join this fellowship. Um, and just to be with us, to help us grow, and maybe we can help you. Sure love you guys.